Matt, I'm sure you felt pretty sore after taking that furling hit early in the game, but I imagine the two goals that you scored kind of counteracted any soreness that you felt. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we were expecting a very physical game out of them. Um, it's something that we kind of, um, you know, had that experience of going through in the second round against Columbus. So uh, we don't we don't get phased by by that game, and um, you know, I think we responded really well, and we knew how important it was to take advantage of home ice. So. Glad uh, we got the win today. In the middle here. Tori, uh, you and Brandon uh, along with the Bergeron line saw a lot of Ajo through these first two games. Uh, what do you think you guys have been able to do so well against that line? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good matchup for us. A lot of fun for sure. Uh, I think you know, we've limited their odd man rush opportunities. I think that's been a strength of not only our, our deep pairing in, in that line, but our, our team in general. Uh, if we can you know, squash and slide in the neutral zone and really limit their chances off the rush, then it doesn't allow them to, uh, you know, to get any momentum going. And then in zone, just, just clamping down on time and space. It's uh, what we talk about all the time. Uh, I take, take away time and space from great players. They don't have as much uh, time to make plays, and, and we'll just try to continue to do that. In the far back. Um, Matt, before you turn the page to the next game, can you just take a moment to kind of reflect on the specialness of what you were able to do today, obviously being local and your connections to the building. And, and Tori, if you wouldn't mind just to speak to kind of the game that, that Matt had and, and what he was able to contribute today. Um, I think, you know, again, it was just kind of the importance of, of taking advantage of, uh, you know, home ice. And um, we came out ready to go, and that's been the strength of, us, of our team um, throughout the playoffs. So um, going into the game, I think we were a little lax today to go with the puck uh, in game one in the second period. Um, they were able to capitalize on a few chances. So it's something we talked about. Um, obviously, you want to have a, a full 60-minute effort. Um, and I thought we, we played really well in the second period as well. So kind of just didn't allow them to get momentum, uh, as Tori alluded to. And um, we were able to play a pretty strong 60-minute game. So. Um, we're gonna need a, a good effort in game three. Yeah, it was it was fun to watch. Look, uh, you know, I've been one of Grizzly's biggest fans, you know, since he he came in the league, and we joke about it all the time. Now we have you know a couple uh, guys under five ten winning games in the National Hockey League, and three uh, D under six foot, and we're we're, you know, we're causing havoc and we're we're doing the job. So um, it's a lot of fun to watch him play, and when he's skating, there's you know there's no one that can skate like him and, and break out pucks and. Um, you know, we take a lot of pride in that, so it, it was fun to watch him, you know, scoot around today. Chris, front right. Matt, uh, with it being Mother's Day and your mom being in the stands, uh, can you tell us what she's meant to you and in, in your career? Yeah, she means the world. She's, uh, you know, someone who I talk to every single day and um, probably my best friend. And, um, you know, her and my dad obviously mean a lot to me, and I wouldn't be in this position without them. And um, it's, it's, you know, great to share this experience with my you know, family and friends, and just just getting the win uh, in, in Game Two of the Eastern Conference Finals. It's uh, you know you don't want to allow yourself to kind of sit back and relax and think too much about it. But um, obviously, it's really special right now, and just trying to ride this momentum and going to Game Three and um, you know have another strong effort up front in the middle. This is for either you guys. There's two offensive defensemen. What have you seen in Connor Clifton's game as he's evolved? You know, in the NHL, he scores today. He's sort of getting involved in the offense. What have you seen uh, from his, his from his offensive game over the past few months? I think it's his his instincts that are, um, you know, a strength of his game. It's it's fun to watch. We we call it Cliffy hockey because he just goes out there and uh, he he plays like no one else, and he he thrives off instincts. So uh, the offensive part of it. Uh, he sees a chance and he grabs a puck and he goes and he's not scared to hold on to it. So, um, you know, he's been a great addition to this this D group and obviously something we want to, you know, hopefully we can capture that moving forward and he can continue to, um, you know, to provide the offense from back there. Jimmy, front right. Hey, this one's for Matt. Matt, um, I'm sure you're aware of what happened on Mother's Day in 1970 here. And then Bobby's here in the building waving the banner before. What's that mean to you just as a Boston kid to, to be able to play and then score a goal as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, just to be on the stage and be a part of the team. Um, I kind of pinch myself every day, just really uh, excited to, 
would come into the rink and be a part of the team and try to add as much as I can to it. And uh, you know, it's it's really fun right now. And you know, you try not to think about you know the outside distractions or anything too much, but um, try to stay in the moment and um, you know capitalize on opportunities. So um, yeah, it's get to see you know Bobby Orr walking around. It's it's pretty cool. So um, you're just trying to enjoy the experience with the guys. Yep. Um, no, I, I've seen him a few times uh, you know, walking into the rink, so um, never really had the chance to speak too much to him, but um, nothing but great things to say about him. Time for two more. Back left. Tori, what does it say after Connor Clifton scored? That was the 19th Bruin to score in this postseason. You lead the post. What does that say about your team that you've got scoring all up and down the lineup? Well, the guys are, are coming to play at the right time. <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, depth is – Depth scoring is, is so crucial for playoffs. Uh, you know, most of the time when you, you see a matchup, the two big lines are going head to head. That kind of you know washes each other out typically o over a series, and then you have the the depth scoring that comes into play, and that's what wins you games and, and wins you series. So, um, you know, we have it right now. We want to to continue to bottle that up and, and use it to our advantage. Uh, I said it all along. You know, from the beginning of playoffs, if if we we're going to go and make a run, it's going to be those bottom two lines that feed energy into this team and, and score big timely goals and. Uh, we're going to need that moving forward. Front left, Joey, last one. Tori, I know we probably make a bigger deal of it than you guys do in the room, but when you have so many local guys on the team, Matt and Charlie, Wags, Noel, I mean, what kind of chirping goes on in behind closed doors? <laughs> Quite a bit. I, I mean, it's all in good fun, right? We have the, the mayor of Charlestown sitting next to me. That's, uh, that's one of the yeah, one of the riffs for sure. But... Um, look, that's in, that's important to our team. I think we have guys that you know take a lot of pride putting the sweater on, the spoke B. Um, I think no one takes it for granted. That's for sure. Uh, as as a whole, as a group, uh, we're very prideful. But when you have local guys uh, coming and, and doing it and uh, having the success that, success that they've had, it's it's a special feeling for them, I'm sure. And, and we all you know feed get a little bit of energy off of it. So um, we definitely give them a little bit behind the scenes and. Uh, you know, I'm glad he can enjoy this day. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks.